Originally, my stage name came from, well, Roxanne. It was kind of like a funny thing. Do you remember um, the movie Goof Troop? Where Goofy, his I think it was his son Max, yeah, and his girlfriend was named Roxanne. So somebody kind of told me that I look like Roxanne, and then from there I was just like, damn, I kind of look like her. So while I was dancing, I kind of used that one time as my name. And then from there, it kind of like stuck. Then the Montana part kind of just came from being a G. <laughs> now, did you ever use Roxanne Montana while you were dancing, or did the Montana come into play when it was more music? Um, it really started with the whole Instagram thing, because from dancing, I then developed into more of an Instagram, you know, fan, you know, Instagram person. and. From there, my handle, my user was Roxanne Montana. So mm -hmm. I didn't dance by Roxanne Montana at first. My name was just Roxanne, and then with Instagram, my following and everything like that, that's when the whole Montana thing came. Did you try to differentiate the dancing and the, and the music, or did you kind of uh, take the dancing element into the music? It was all kind of a transition, like, dancer, model, rapper. So it kind of just all started transitioning for me. Because I always wondered if somebody from an exotic dancing background uh, chooses a separate name for music or if they take part of their stage name from dancing. I mean, it, it really depends on if, you, if that is, if that's what people call you. You know, if that's what you're known by. So if you're a dancer that people will be like, oh, that's Roxanne Montana. I can't really say, oh, my name is going to be Billy Bob. You know what I'm saying? I got to go with Roxanne Montana because that's who, that's what people know. That's, I've already branded myself with that from the dancing to the modeling to the music. So that was just kind of, it just always stuck with me. People misspell it, I'm sure. All the time. I'd be like two X's and two N's. But they, they, they misspell it all the time. You but, came up with the extra X and the extra N? Yeah. Because when I first, um, this page that I have now is my second page, but my first page was deleted at like a hundred and something thousand. This was back in the days when nobody even had like them type followers. But um, my page was deleted and it was Roxanne Montana, but I couldn't do the regular. So I did the X and the N, double X, double N, and that was my spelling on there. Then when my page was deleted, now that's why I have to put the dot or the queen or I have to add stuff on it. But um, yeah, I originally did it because of Instagram. I had to do a, se a separate. Now, uh, I know sometimes when people are branded as a certain name with their image, especially for a certain length of time, they're kind of stuck with it in a sense. Some people though, deep down inside, even though they're known for a name, they secretly wish they could go under a different name. Do you ever feel like that? Okay, even though I'm Roxanne Montana, I secretly wish I had a different stage name. No. Okay. I definitely don't because I feel like everything that Roxanne Montana stands for, I've worked for. My defaults, my um, my pros and my cons. So everything that I went through, my growth, really. So my name, I think, shows growth. What I, who I was and who I am now, you could kind of like my real, I don't even like to call them fans, my real life supporters they know, okay, well, she used to do this, and then the clothing, and this, and then the month. They can keep up with me, and they see my growth. So there's no, there's no point in rebranding myself when people love me and fuck with me just the way I am already. Not even a rebranding thing, just a secret, okay, man, I'm tired of There is no that. secret. <laughs> you know, I've been an open book since... As much as I, even now a dating age, even if you don't want to be an open book, you got to be because the way people dig into your past and you just got to be open with whatever you're doing. That way people could be like, well, it is what it is. We already knew that, you know, so. What's your ethnicity? I am 100% Dominican. My mother and my father are both Dominican. Do people guess this when they meet you? Do they think you're something else when they meet you? They always ask. They think I'm mixed, but they don't, they, they be like, what you mix with? But they don't really, you know, I be like, nothing, I'm just Dominican. <laughs> Do you speak any other languages aside from English? Spanish. Fluently? Mm-hmm. 
uh, how'd you learn? Spanish was actually my first language. I didn't oh. learn English until I started going to school, which is what's going on with my son right now. My son, the words that he knows are Spanish. 